morning. Uh, today we're off to Reading, I think. It's only a couple of hours cruise, a few locks. Just waiting for these guys to come out through the lock. Um, I've noticed that we are actually beached, as expected. Rudder's stuck. It's our second Earth side block. It would. Really strange. Huh? Me? Close to closer. You go stand that side, I'll come back this side. Can you write it, can you? I'll do it, kids. Otherwise, it's going to open by the time you get back. I think it's going to open. The other one. Hold it for a few seconds after. So I'll hold it. No one to put this line, is it? Stay this side, so I'll do that one. There's no point you going back and forth, is there? Drive. Stay this side. Huh? Come and hold that. <laughs> you alright? It's not alright. Done for the day. Oh, I've just been. Thank you. Service with a smile as always. So just come in under the M4 motorway in a minute, and then we've got Burkfield Lock. Southcott Lock. You can stay up with this And then Fobney Lock. We have to go a bit careful because um, there's a river joining at right angles. As we come out of the lock, I have to go careful on the lock landing to push us across. And then we'll go careful at County Lock, which is the one after that last then you're in Reading. You see, you've got like a massive weir that comes parallel with you. We should definitely. Can you go get the thingy? Like what? No, the. Anchor. Yeah. M4. Woo. Yeah, we're coming up to, we've got one more lock and then Fogney lock, which is on with a warning on it about the cross flows. Um, I don't know how far out of Reading we are now, I don't think we're too far. No, I think it was a 10 minute cycle from there. Was it? Oh wow. That pub. Close said. Okay. Woo! There's lots of birdies.
definitely getting into more of an urban area now. We've never had this to moor up against. It's Armco barrier, so like the reinforcing. You can get either some, I think they're called goat chains or uh, nappy pins. Um, and then you can use chains to connect to that without having to put pins in. So if you've got like a concrete path or tarmac, whatever, like you would on a, in a city, um, then you can moor up to the barrier itself. I need to get older some before we get too far into London, really. But I think Reading's got some visitor moorings which we should try and find. Um, which have got like bollards, but we actually yeah need to get some of that chain or hooks, those hooks, that chain or those hooks. This is Fobney Lock and Fobney Lock Pumping Station. This is the one with the cross flow coming quite strong. Doesn't look too bad actually. couple fallen trees that the last guy we passed mentioned. Oh, I think we're right. It looks really deceiving. Really it's really picture. hard, isn't it? To tell. Yeah. Until you get up close, you can't tell it's not too bad. The last one we did was quite bad, actually. It's wide enough. Though. Wouldn't take a lot, though, for another boat to be coming and then you're I know, it's last minute, on. yeah. First trolley of the trip. <laughs> what do you mean the trip? It's cool, isn't it? There's a boat at the bottom of the garden. Oh, yeah, they've locked the front off it though. Bloody hell. <laughs> Someone got a bit happy with the grinder. <laughs> that was for sale. Oh, to let. How much to let? A lot. I'm going to say that we've officially arrived in Reading. Woo! I reckon they it's gotta be. This is Reading. Reading, this is Reading. Reading. They need welcome to Reading signs or I'll like welcome out. to cities when they have it on like the road. Yeah. Oh, CRT sign. So this is County Lock, which was on Red Board the other day when we had quite bad rain. So we're right next to it. Just after that we've got the traffic light system as well. You can see a red light. <laughs> Locks have got two paddles on each. Hey. No sticker? Yes, I would love a sticker. I'm gonna wear it. Can we keep one for yeah. my foot? We've got to press the button, <laughs> wait for the green light. I don't know why. Press the best arrow or something. Oh, it's green. <laughs> there we go. Tell me your red impact. Biggest town in England. Not city, biggest town. Biggest town in England. That's the only probably example. Uh, UK actually. In the UK, it's because it hasn't got a cathedral, for any reason. <laughs> it's a lot more built up than I was sure. I don't know what to expect. But it's nice, it's isn't massive, it? massive, yeah. You wouldn't want to put more up here, would you? Waggers? Waggers mamas. Yo-yo sushi. Oh, yo sushi, not yo-yo. This is funny. <laughs> Nice. Find a camera on the bridge. Yeah. You betcha. Let's 
probably fine, but I don't trust it. Whee! Isn't it funny, like when we get to Birmingham and probably before, like we've only ever really gone in this like one way, but like there'll be different ways that we can choose to turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, there's so many junctions and that, you just keep going through little loops yeah. or anything. Yeah, funny, isn't it? Never really had that option. Oh, I don't like that there's not one of a boat here. Are we silly going up to London this time of year? I think so. How old? So anxious. Looks nice though. Yeah. Abbey Wharf, look. Don't stop. Public mooring. We got picking a bunch. 24 hours maximum. No return to 72. So is it free? I don't know, I have to get out and read it. Don't. Yeah, okay. No, there's 24 hours. Turn it off? Yeah, it's what? I think we should take all of these bits in because watch the windows a hammer to get our windows. Yeah. Okay, and I right. think you should also get rid of the white spirit because people can see and like chuck it on our paint and then that'd be really annoying. I think you've been a little bit rational, but yeah, I'll put everything away and then we'll go and comfort ourselves in a local watering hole. It's Reading. There's some nice chestnut trees. Mm. Reading! Just before I show you us joining the Thames, I'd like to thank our friends over at EcoFlow for sponsoring another one of our videos. It's thanks to sponsors like these that we're able to spend our week filming and editing videos like this. We've been posting videos here pretty much every week for the past three years, believe it or not. I had to check back through our channel, but our first little vlog, if you will, was uploaded on the 3rd of September back in 2020. We have made it to St. Michael's Mount. Mont Saint-Michel. Mont Saint-Michel. Nice why do I say it wrong? Why do I say it wrong every time? Which has now somehow reached three and a half thousand views. I remember when we first started uploading videos and we used to get excited when they'd reached 500 views. And now 150 videos three years later. Um, thanks to you guys, actually, most of our videos are now reaching 30,000 views. It just blows my mind that you actually want to spend your Sundays sat there watching me and Danny just being us really so yeah genuinely thank you we, we don't say it enough so thank you very much hopefully you think the videos have improved slightly over the past three years and apologies again for the camera settings being way off I seem to have filmed about three videos worth of footage I think all with the white balance autofocus the microphone's been off um, setting since we got the camera back for a warranty it's actually quite painful having to watch back through all of that bad footage knowing that this isn't our best when I'm doing the editing but Thank you for bearing with us. We've been fortunate enough to work with EcoFlow for well over 18 months now. If you're wondering who are these people and what do they do, they do power banks and they do them really well. They were founded in 2017 initially through uh, Indiegogo or like a Kickstarter campaign. Starting off, they developed the River model. Since then, they've also developed a Delta range of power banks and recently switched over to LifePO4 batteries, which is essentially what Elon puts in Teslas. I mean, it's, it, I mean, really, it brands itself. Essentially, they're just safer and they'll charge way more times before they die. They'll give you 10 years of daily use, which is around 3,000 full charge cycles. They're also guaranteed for what I think is the longest in the industry, which is five years, which for a battery product is just crazy that they can actually offer that. My favorite feature though has always been just how fast they'll charge. They're actually the fastest charging power banks in the world. In the world? They've got a model to suit any use from the Compact River 2 up to the Delta 2 Max that I've got behind me that I also use to power my dad's welder. I'm still amazed that that actually works. I'll put a video link up here somewhere. If that's not big enough for you though, they actually do the Delta Pro as well, which is massive. Most of the range can actually be expanded with additional batteries as well and they all connect to EcoFlow's super snazzy app so you can control different settings, power this on and off remotely. I've noticed that the camera's getting slightly darker, the sun was out but it's just going behind the clouds now so I am slowly fading out to black. We've been using an EcoFlow of some sort for well over 18 months now. Initially we started off with the Delta, that was back when the boat had no 240 volt. We were using it for the tile cutter, charging power tools, 
all sorts of stuff. I'm not actually sure how we survived the beginning of the build without one. At the minute we've been using the Delta 2 Max and the River 2 Pro. As I think you've heard me say before, our house batteries, the leisure batteries, are toast. Um, we're hoping that they're going to last through one more winter and then I'll be upgrading to lithium, I think, to a full lithium setup when the budget allows. So for any large power consuming devices like our coffee machine, which is an essential, I've been using the Delta 2 Max and actually the River 2 Pro powers it anyway as well. The River 2 is actually flat at the minute, so I do need to charge that up. But essentially whilst we've been cruising, once the house batteries are showing 100%, I'll pop one of those on charge with the DC to DC um, cigarette lighter socket charger. Um, I think it brings in 100 watts or something. So just as, as we're on a long cruise, it'll keep those two topped up usually. Then that leaves our house batteries just having to power lights, the fridge, the water pump and stuff like that. Just the general bits that you can't really plug in. If you're looking for a power bank to add to your existing setup, I can genuinely recommend EcoFlow. Whether that's to expand your current battery bank over winter, just to keep you ticking over, um, or even I've seen people using this instead of an inverter because it obviously has a giant inverter built in and it powers my coffee machine and I think they say 90% of uh, household electricals with the Delta 2 Max. Uh, might even be higher than that. It will run most things. Um, but yeah, I'll leave the link in the description and top comment so you can go check out their website for yourself. And yeah, thank you again EcoFlow and you guys for supporting our channel for this long. Now watch us full of excitement and worry as we join the Thames. Today is the day that we'll be joining the Thames. Woo! Slightly anxious, <laughs> a little bit nervous with a side of worry, I think. But uh, it's sunny. Yeah, it's Can't a cracking day. Can't ask for better weather. It is a cracking day. Has she got on a move? Yes. <laughs> I'm actually shaking a little bit. <laughs> you know when you build things up in your head, it's just like... Ooh. It's such a wide river as well. I don't know if most of you probably would have seen the Thames on Ooh. EastEnders and all the rest of it. It's a big old river. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm genuinely a bit scared. Why? <laughs> Why are you so scared? I don't know. I'm just now I come across all nervous. Before we get on the Thames, we need to pay for a Thames license because this is the end of CRT's jurisdiction. Um, we can get visitors more in. It's done on per square meters of the boat, so hopefully, there's apparently you can buy them at the lock keeper's place. Otherwise, we can just upgrade our CRT membership to a gold, which then covers the EA's waters, which is basically a tent. But it's a bit more complicated because there's runs for a certain time of year. Well, here we go. Okay, you. You'll be fine. I've just done a refill on the stern gland with the proper waterproof grease this time and checked the weed hatch. First time we've opened that in ages and we've actually got mussels or similar <laughs> shellfish growing on there. That's how long it's been. Uh, but that was all good anyway, nothing around the prop. Touch wood should be alright. <laughs> Is that the Thames there? No. No, the Thames is here. Really? Massive. How wide is it? I'd say four times as wide as this. What, and that? No, probably twice as wide as this, I reckon. Really? And we're just allowed on it. <laughs> self service to self. I don't know when we're going to pay for a license then, but I'm sure they'll take our money when we can. <laughs> Why aren't they all like this? Are you scared? A little bit. A bit excited as well, though. Getting serious now. This might be a bit overkill. We don't know if everyone tells us to put life jackets on, so it might as well. <laughs> First obstacle. Not even on the Thames yet, there's a lot of rowers when you get on the Thames. Is this not the Thems? Not yet, this is the mouth of the Kennet still. It's still Kennet. Oh. We'll join the Thames in a bit. Oh, I thought we were on the Kennet. I thought we were on the... It's too wide. I'm not sure about my decision now. Side of Mississippi, isn't it? Uh, this is the tent. <laughs> I don't 
going like this. You're right, keep right. I feel like we're just going out to sea. Not far off. Oh. You go far enough, you go out to sea. Oh, look at the size of it. Oh my god, I did not was expecting, but I was not expecting it to be that big. <laughs> We're just on the Thames now, like loose, like no one, no one supervising us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think life jackets are the right decision. Yeah. I can swim, but like, I guess if you're in a panic, you just That's don't it, know. That's it, Haven completed. Completed it, mate. Kennet Haven Canal. Job done. Oh my god. Bristol to Reading. So wide. Like, I can't even picture how wide it was going to be. Like, been used to the um, River Avon, like where we were in Cainton for a while, and like just got used to the size of that. But like, this is just. I don't want to do the seven anymore. I take it back. I'll go and see if I can get us a license. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if yeah, if possible. I mean, we, we are already on here. Um, like I said, we've come past two locks now, but there's no one on here to um, to pay, which we read we could do. So yeah, just just as soon as we can, really. I had to pay for the license over the phone in the end, but it's all done. Seventy-seven pound fifty for a week. It's not too bad. Um, do the toy toilet, but you'd rather us go over there. Just pull it up. Yeah. In the book, looks like a severe lack of services on the Thames, but Danny just goes to the past, sir, and we're actually allowed to use them. So he dropped the toilet off. Mm. I'd be resulted by it, not I? I wouldn't push it. <laughs> it's so glamorous. Why are there tongs? <laughs> Why are there tongs? It's like a different planet here on the Thames. Just feels like we're on holiday. I feel like we're on to Marlow now. No, we're not. We're coming close to Henley on Thames. We aren't going to stop there. We visited um, Tom Carriage's restaurant last year, I think, and we went to Henley on Thames and we went to Marlow. We preferred Marlow, so we're just going to head straight to Marlow. Another lock, then it's Henley. Henley and we've got another Thames. lock at the other side of Henley. I think that's where the services are, so we'll fill out water, hopefully. Henley 
currently on Thames, everybody. Woo! Maybe it's only still three hours. I need to check my book. What's the time now? Four o'clock. Cutting it, aren't we? I was, I don't know what to expect, but yeah, yeah stunning so far. Do you feel safer in one of them than the one we went in? Maybe. This one, one more, and we'll be in Marlow. About an hour's walk from here, so. Beautiful. Depends how quick we get through the locks. We're in a bit of a rush to get through the mill now. We're just in with one other bow and I'm gonna do it now. I did it the first one, but I didn't film it. So most of them have actually had people on it to do the gate. So let's have a look. Who's gate? Hold it. I don't know if you do it. I don't know if it doesn't need him. Oh yeah, they do. Closing these. Now we want to open. I think it's quite clever, obviously it's electronic. I think it opens them partially, like how you're meant to do with um, locks on the canals, so it doesn't let too much water out and it doesn't yeah, give too much waves. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know what I mean. Just and just managed to get a space here in Marlow. Lovely guy that way said he'd even move his boat if there wasn't room. Because um, he had small, a small boat. Yeah. There's lots of tiny boats that you don't know if boats were there before, but they are taking up a lot of room. Some big old git gaps going on. <laughs> um, yeah, we managed to get in, and now we're going out for a couple of drinks and some food. We're some friends. We have friends. We do have friends. friends. It's nice. It's nice that we're moving along the country and like friends live in different areas. So we're yeah. able to like catch up with them. That's been definitely a highlight. But mm -hmm. yeah, gonna go look around Marlow and maybe catch have a couple you of guys. Boos. Not tomorrow. I think we're just gonna relax here and catch up on it. We'll yeah. Catch you in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. ah, hello. Feeling fresh. We've just got to a water point. It's the last one from. No, it's the first one since leaving Marlow. Yeah. So we've just left Marlow. We had a lovely couple of days. We met Duncan and Sophie and their lovely dogs. Clementine uh, and Winston. Yeah. <laughs> they were and, amazing. Yeah, we just had the best time. They watched the channel and yeah, they're probably um, screaming at the TV, you know, and <laughs> saying their names. But yeah, we had the best time with them. They um, recently bought a boat as well and they're on the boat. We um, actually passed them the day before. Yeah. And then Doug sent an email and then we ended up going to the pub for quite a few pints. Yeah, we had a really nice time. So 
actually this morning, so we've been travelling and tomorrow we need to, um, we're going to go drop the car back yeah. in Somerset and leave it there, but the car was like 20, 30 miles away from where we last left it, so from about 10 o'clock this morning till about 3 o'clock I have been between cycling and getting trains going to get the car and moving it forward to where we're ending tonight so it's ready for the morning, it's been yeah. an absolute nightmare, I missed the train um, I cycled like 15 miles and then I missed the train from Reading to where do you Aldermaston? Aldermaston, which is where the car was, um, by like a minute, and I had to wait two hours for the next one. I then dropped it all off, then went back to Maidenhead, um, cycled to Maidenhead, sorry, and then was going to get to Marlow. I literally, I didn't think I was going to make it out, and it's every hour, I was like, you normally I wouldn't mind. Well. Yeah, and like the guy, I was like, if I buy a ticket now, will, will I make it? He just let me through the gates. He was like, just buy it on the thing, and I was like running up the stairs with the bike. I literally made it with a minute, otherwise I'd have to wait another hour, so yeah, I'm very pleased and excited to get rid of the car tomorrow, yeah. as much as it's obviously been helpful, it's just a pain now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're just in front of a lock, we're going to go into one, I think, I don't know if there's someone coming up or yeah, now. Yeah, I tell. I think we might be able to go straight into it in a minute, um, um, and on to Bray for the evening hopefully. It's yeah. like, it's gone five o'clock though, Yeah. So it's going to be another probably dark, if not almost dark. I feel like I left early, if I didn't have that blimmin' two hours we would have been mm, left by now, but yeah. What it is, isn't it? If, yeah. We, if we see any more ins before we might pull up, just I don't really want to be cruising too dark into the night. Yeah, we'll right, put the light let's wait at them. Yeah, let's go. and see how these locks work. I've not actually seen Danny do the buttons yet. We only did one ourselves and the rest have all been done either by the lock keepers or other people. Is it easy enough? Right, so these are like the... Sluices, yeah, the paddles. Yeah, so I just had to, I, it wouldn't, the gate wouldn't open just a minute ago even though they've just come out so I had to open them again and close yeah. them. I think there's an order, you can't just press any button. Yeah. You've got to hold, you've got to keep holding it because yeah. otherwise it stops yeah. it. So. Maidenhead, didn't want to risk missing these more rooms. It's only another 45 minutes till sunset, so we've got roughly 45, maybe an hour in the morning. Back to the car. <laughs> 